I held my cousin today, met her for the first time, four months old, brighter eyes than I'll ever have. Cried to be given back to her mother, I miss my mother. Haven't seen her in four months. I've lived here for 38 months, Fort Collins, home. Started a poetry slam here, the crucible of creation, cradle of creation. We created something. Stood together, arm in arm, proud parents stood in the spotlight and bled, bled out to strangers, bled with smiles on our faces, baring our teeth, our skin. This is the meaning of intimacy. We ran up the stairs, burst onto the rooftop, the five of us plus one, undeniably here and existent. Some mark, however, impermanent. I will try to remember this the next time I feel impermanent. That was delightful. <laughs> My cousin is dying. Maybe. Cancer. Two types, two years, tumor. Finally got his make-a-wish, wishing fixes nothing, neither does chemo or surgery. He's so young, slightly innocent, robbed of total innocence, seen too many hospitals for that. But he still smiles. He has anger issues. I don't blame him. Everyone does, but he's the only one, no, one of the few that has an actual good reason I will break things if he dies. Anger is a pointless emotion. Achieves nothing, helps no one. I don't want to be angry, I want to be passionate. Anger, but with purpose. I want to do something, somehow, not sure what yet, might be on the right track, might be spinning around in circles, might be wasting everybody's time, but damn, what a ride. This life, given the choice, would I choose it? I think so. Mistakes and piles around me, but I'm still here. Must be doing something right, because right now, I feel good. Not all good, not always good, but right now, all bad considered, I feel good. Confidence is a disease of the youth, but so is doubt. How does that work exactly? Must find a youth and ask them. Compare notes with my old soul. Somebody said that once, that I have an old soul. My first thought was, do souls have expiration dates? <laughs> How old do I have to age before my soul expires? So much talk of growing old, daily conversation, no matter the age of the speaker, they can't shut up about it. Like they think talk will slow it down. Because counting the days really helped keep time on track. People keep reminding me I'm getting older. As if I forget that time moves when I'm not looking, yes. Soon I'll be 22, and then someday I'll be 42, and 62, and so on and so forth. Or maybe not. A bus could decide to hit me. I could get the cancer running around my family like the marathons and 5Ks meant to stop it. Who knows? I'm not afraid of death. It should be afraid of me. I'm going to high five it when it gets here. Tell it I've been waiting and what took it so long and don't worry about it. I kept myself busy, found something to do with my time, made something of this life. <laughs> Man, death's going to want to kill me. <laughs>